चैप्टर 11 फोटोसिंथेसिस इन हायर प्लांट्स शॉर्ट नोट्स एंड समरी फ्रॉम क्लास 11 सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑटोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इज यूनिक टू ग्रीन प्लांट्स दे सिंथेसाइज ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स फ्रॉम सीओ टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वाटर एंड मिनरल्स यूजिंग लाइट एनर्जी फोटोसिंथेसिस अकर्स एट मल्टीपल ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल लेवल्स मॉलिक्यूलर पिगमेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सेलुलर क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड ऑर्गेनिज्मिक होल प्लांट एनवायरमेंट इंटरेक्शंस द यूनिट कवर्स फोटोसिंथेसिस रेस्पिरेशन एंड ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट हाईलाइटिंग मॉलिक्यूलर डिटेल्स इन अ सेलुलर एंड एनवायरमेंटल कॉन्टेक्सट मेलविन कैलविंस यूज ऑफ सी फोर्टीन लेबलिंग मैप्ड द कार्बन एसिमिलेशन पाथवे अर्निंग द नोबल प्राइज नाइनटीन and laying the foundation for solar energy research summary photosynthesis in higher plants is a physico chemical process transforming light energy into chemical energy forming the basis of the food chain and releasing oxygen this chapter unpacks the molecular mechanisms with chloroplast tracing from pigment absorption to sugar synthesis via the kelvin cycle 11.1 what do we know essential requirements chlorophyll light and co2 must all be present for starch synthesis in leaves starch testing experiments variegated leaves co2 depletion with koh demonstrate that photosynthesis restricted to green tissue and requires co2 autotrophs versus heterotrophs green plants are autotrophs all other organisms depend on them for organic carbon summary simple classroom experiments confirm that photosynthesis is localized to chlorophyll containing cells and absolutely depends on both light and atmospheric co2 11.2 early experiments priestley 1770 showed that plants restore air fold by candles or animals first hint of o2 evolution engine house 1779 demonstrated light dependent o2 released by green parts of plants identified the gas as oxygen sets 1854 connected chloroplast to starch production localized chlorophyll to chloroplast engelmann 1883 action spectrum of photosynthesis using bacteria clustering around blue red light on algae when neil 1930s to 40s proposed a generalized equation for photosynthesis proving o2 comes from h2o not co2 summary a series of landmark experiments from priestley's bell jar to radio isotope labeling established that light driven water splitting produces oxygen and that chloroplasts are the site of carbohydrate synthesis 11.3 where does photosynthesis take place occurs not only in green leaves but also in other chlorophyll containing organs green stems unripe fruits mesophyll cells house abundant chloroplast aligned to maximize light capture chloroplast architecture grana thylakoid stacks light reactions stroma lamellae electron transport atp synthesis stroma carbon fixation kelvin cycle summary photosynthesis takes place in chloroplast distributed primarily in mesophyll cells with distinct sub compartments dedicated to light harvesting and carbon assimilation 11.4 how many types of pigments are involved in photosynthesis four main pigments separated by chromatography chlorophyll a blue green primary pigment chlorophyll b yellow green accessory extends absorption xanthophylls yellow and carotenoids yellow orange broaden spectrum protect from photo oxidation absorption versus action spectra overlap in blue and red regions confirming chlorophyll a's central role accessory pigments transfer energy to chlorophyll a summary a suit of pigments absorb light across the visible spectrum but chlorophyll a in reaction centers drives photosynthesis accessory pigments increase efficiency and safeguard against damage 
Eleven point five. What is light reaction? Photochemical phase includes light absorption, water splitting, O two release, ATP, and NADPH formation. Two photosystems in thylakoid membranes, PS two P six eight zero absorbs at six eighty nanometer. PS one P seven hundred absorbs at seven hundred nanometer. Pigments in each photosystem form an antenna complex funneling energy to a special chlorophyll A reaction center. Summary: The light reaction converts photon energy into chemical energy ATP, NADPH, and oxygen using two photosystems and an organized pigment protein antenna system. Eleven point six: The electron transport. Eleven point six point one: Splitting of water. Occurs at the OEC oxygen evolving complex of PS2. Reaction 2H2O to 4H positive plus O2 plus 4 electron negative. Electrons replace those existed in PS2. Protons accumulate in thylakoid lumen. Summary: Water oxidation at PS2 supplies electrons for the photosynthetic electron transport chain. And generates molecular oxygen and a proton gradient. Eleven point six point two cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Non-cyclic electron flows PS two to PS one to NADP positive NADPH yields ATP and NADPH. Cyclic electrons loop from PS one back into ETS produces only ATP occurs in stroma lamellae. or under far red light summary non cyclic flow generates both atp and nadph while cyclic flow supplements atp supply to match the kelvin cycles demands 11.6.3 chemi osmotic hypothesis proton gradient built across thylakoid membrane water splitting releases h positive inside lumen etc carriers translocate h positive into lumen nadp positive reduction consumes stromal h positive atp synthase cf0 cf1 complex uses h positive diffusion back to stroma to drive atp formation summary the chemi osmotic mechanism links electron transport to atp synthesis via a thylakoid proton gradient powering atp synthase 11.7 where are the atp and nadph used 11.7.1 the primary acceptor of co2 co2 is fixed by rubisco onto ribulose 1 5bis phosphate rubp 5c to two molecules of 3 phosphoglycerate 3c rubisco is the most abundant enzyme on earth with both carboxylase and oxygenase activities Summary: RuBP acts as the initial CO2 acceptor in the Kelvin cycle, catalyzed by Rubisco, yielding two three-carbon molecules. 11.7.2: The Kelvin cycle, three stages. First, carboxylation. RuBP plus CO2 gives two into three PGA, catalyzed by Rubisco. Second, reduction. Three PGA to glycol aldehyde. 3 phosphate uses 2 ATP plus 2 NADPH per CO2. Third regeneration ribulose 1,5 bis phosphate regenerated uses 1 ATP per CO2. Net cost per CO2 fixed 3 ATP plus 2 NADPH. Six turns yield one glucose. Summary: The Kelvin cycle converts CO2 into triose phosphates, consuming ATP and NADPH. and regenerates rubp in a cyclic sequence 11.8 the c4 pathway trans anatomy mesophyll cells surround bundle sheath cells rich in chloroplast initial fixation in mesophyll by pep carboxylase onto pep 3c oxaloacetate 4c malate aspartate c4 acids transport to bundle sheath release co2 for kelvin cycle 3c return to mesophyll minimizes photorespiration enhances efficiency under high light and temperature summary 
C4 plants concentrate CO2 in bundle shed cells via a 4C intermediate, boosting photosynthetic efficiency and reducing photorespiration in hot, bright environments. 11.9 Photorespiration Rubiscose oxygenase activity oxidizes RUBP to 3 PGA plus phosphoglycolate 2C. Photorespiration releases CO2 and consumes ATP without sugar production. C4 mechanism suppresses O2 binding by elevating CO2 levels around rubisco, virtually eliminating photorespiration. Summary Photorespiration is a wasteful rubisco mediated oxygenation of RUBB. C4 plants avoid it by CO2 concentration, improving net carbon assimilation. 11.10 Factors affecting photosynthesis 11.10.1 Light Light intensity Rate increases linearly at low levels, saturates approximately 10% full sun when other factors limit. Light quality Blue and red wavelengths are most effective. Duration Longer exposure increases carbon gain until saturation or photo damage occurs. Summary Light intensity, quality and duration control the photochemical rate with blue-red light most efficiently driving photosynthesis. 11.10.2 Carbon Dioxide Concentration Ambient CO2 approximately 0.03 to 0.04 percent often limiting for C3 plants. C4 saturation occurs at approximately 360. C3 continues responding up to approximately 450. CO2 enrichment in greenhouses, tomatoes, peppers boosts C3 productivity. Summary Increasing atmospheric CO2 enhances photosynthetic rates, especially for C3 species, until enzyme saturation limits further gain. 11.10.3 Temperature Enzymatic Dark reactions are temperature sensitive, light reactions less so. C4 plants have a higher temperature optimum. 30 to 40 degrees Celsius, then C3, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Adaptation to habitat, tropical versus temperate species differ in thermal optima. Summary, temperature influences the enzymatic steps of photosynthesis. C4 plants perform better at higher temperatures than C3 plants. 11.10.4 Water Water deficit causes stomatal closure, reducing CO2 uptake. Wilting decreases leaf area and metabolic activity. Despite being a reactant in light reactions, water's limiting effect is mostly via plant physiological stress. Summary Water stress indirectly limits photosynthesis by shutting stomata and impairing leaf function, outweighing its direct role in light reactions. Summary of chapter Photosynthesis in higher plants integrates light harvesting water oxidation, electron transport, ATP, NADPH production, and carbon fixation in chloroplast. Two photosystems and chemiosmotic ATP synthesis convert solar energy into chemical bonds. The Kelvin cycle fixes CO2 into sugars, while C4 pathways concentrate CO2 to minimize photorespiration. Environmental factors light, CO2, temperature, water, collectively determine photosynthetic efficiency and plant productivity. So friends, we have completed short notes and summary of chapter 11, Photosynthesis in Higher Plants. We will do short question answers of this chapter in a separate video. If you like the video, kindly like, hide the video and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. We will meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.